Yeah, yeah, I know. As always, I present myself as an honest, unapologetic voice out there on YouTube. I always share with you my plight, what's going on in my community, the government, and of course the corrupt mainstream media. To the many friends, the many subscribers, and the people who support my videos, I want to say thank you. Without your support, I wouldn't be doing this. Now, as I get started, I know that the progressives are really upset right now. Keith Oberman stepped down. He quit Countdown last Friday, leaving a big hole in MSNBC, rearranging the lineup with Lawrence O'Donnell, Rachel Maddow, Ed Schultz, Chris Matthews. It seems like the left is not catching any good breaks. The Republicans got control of the House of Representatives. President Obama's moving to the middle. Air America has went off the air. Progressives are not happy with the president passing health care reform, getting don't ask, don't tell repealed, and also helping with the compromise with the Republicans. They're not satisfied. Progressives are really upset. They're thinking about Dennis Kucinich, Hillary Clinton, Evan Bayh. They're thinking about a third party candidate. I know that a lot of progressives watch my videos and I also appreciate them watching as well as the conservatives and libertarians watching. But the thing here is, is that the progressives are just about as whiny as the conservatives when it comes to issues facing us as all Americans are facing. Keith Oberman was just as controversial as Bill O'Reilly, Glenn Beck, Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, Bill Cunningham, Matt Drudge, Michelle Malkin, World Net Daily, you name it, it's just about as controversial. And Keith Olbermann may have inspired people like Rachel Maddow, Lawrence O'Donnell, Chris Matthews, Ed Schultz, those on talk radio, Bill Press, Stephanie Miller. He got Randy Rhodes, Mike Malloy, Alan Combs. It's like the left is just as rabid as the right when it comes to talking about issues, demeaning others, making people feel like they're not appreciate it for expressing their opinions. Now, I do support some of the left's issues, and I do support some of the right's issues. That doesn't make me a liberal or a conservative. It makes me a moderate. I'm an independent voter. I vote for Republicans and Democrats alike, and I also try to be unaffiliated with a party. Even though I support President Obama, that doesn't mean I'm a liberal. It doesn't mean I'm a communist, a socialist, a welfare recipient, someone who doesn't have a job, someone who doesn't want to do anything but do videos on YouTube. I do have a life outside of YouTube, unlike some of the people who comment on YouTube. Keith Overman, I do enjoy watching the show. I do enjoy him naming some of those conservatives who say the most outrageous things, the world's worst person. But, you know, as I say this again, civility is one of the key issues that the president stressed. In the wake of the Tucson tragedy, Republicans and Democrats finally tried to work together in doing something right. They just passed the controversial Bush, now Obama tax cuts. Even though some of the Republicans stepped over the line when it came to don't ask, don't tell, and many of the issues from the START treaty, President Obama finally got some of the Republicans to chill out Get away from all that heated rhetoric. Some of them are now thinking, well, we can work with the president. Unfortunately, like the Tea Party Caucus, which is led by Michelle Bachman, Rand Paul, and Jim DeMint, they're not thinking real. They're still trying to divide and conquer because they agree with the views of Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, and Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, and many on Fox News and World Net Daily. We need to get past that. I know I do go to the Huffington Post, the Drudge Report, the Daily Coast, Town Hall, even World Net Daily. I read all the articles and make an opinion. Even though if you don't agree with my opinion, I appreciate you trying to at least say that in a civil discussion, we have a difference of opinion. Although Keith Overman is gone, progressives, you're not licked yet. There are thousands of other people out there who are willing to take up the fight where Keith Olbermann left off. From Bill Maher to the people over at the Raw Story, crooks and liars. You got a thousand, thousands of bloggers willing to take up the risk that Keith Olbermann left off. I mean, come on now. 
He will be back. You got an opportunity to hear him out. You will hear from him soon. Don't look at it like he's leaving us. He will be back eventually. And believe it or not, I will be watching him soon. So chill out. <laughs>